Hi, my name is Dennis, and I'm from Diamond Pro Systems. Today I'm going to be showing you how to disassemble a Diamond Pro VAC SVX 3A so that you'll be able to replace the VAC motors. First, we'll start out by loosening up this cord grip from the top cover and sliding it on the cord out of your way. Helpful hint. Next, I'm going to be removing the eight screws that attach the top cover. These are a Phillips head screw, by the way. Once those are removed, carefully lift up the top cover so you can gain access to the first stage of the wiring. Another big tip, before disconnecting any of the wires, you can either label them or use a cell phone and just take photos of them so that you can see where they go when time comes to put them back. First, we're going to remove the wires from the hour meter. Set them out of the way. And now, while holding on to the power cord, slide the cover along the cord to get it out of your way to gain access to the main wires. Next step, again, make sure all, label, all the labels are on the wires so you know where they go. I've done this ahead of time, but highly recommended and a strong, helpful tip. So we will remove the wires from the one side of this terminal block, the small black wire going to the hour meter. You don't have to disconnect that one. So you got the green, yellow, blue, black wire. and last the brown. You're going to want to remove all zip ties that are necessary to do this repair. The one black wire from the hour meter can stay attached to the terminal block. The rest of them we will fish through the opening in the cover for the next stage to be removed. Next, I'm going to remove the power cord. Single clamp. Three more screws to attach the main power wires. Now we can place the top cover with power cord attached out of your way. At this point, we should be able to remove the 10 screws and the second or the middle cover. There's a total of 10. At this point, we're now ready to lift the second cover. While doing so, feed the wires through the opening in the cover so they come out on the bottom side or underside of the cover. Like so. Carefully lift the cover and position it so that you can access the electronic board. Next, we need to remove some more zip ties. Two from the box, protected box. Lift the top cover off of the box. And there should be a couple more zip ties and wiring. I can remove this one now. You can remove it afterwards if you wanted to, but I'll get them both now. Once that's complete, 
we need to remove the black, pink, and red wires from the electronic board that goes to the switches on the next cover. It's best to have a micro sized screwdriver to fit into the terminals to remove the wires. You have to position the screwdriver into the slot pertaining to that wire. Push in, release the wire, pull the wire out. Go to the next one. Push the screwdriver in, pull the wire out. And finally the last one, push and release. Now we can easily remove the second cover, the middle cover. For this step, we're going to go back to the board connections. Same procedure, using a small screwdriver, push in on the terminals, and remove one wire at a time. These wires, I have pre-labeled them. Um, I just put a black mark to the, on the terminal and the wire, so I know which black went where. They're both white wires, but it's not a bad idea to still mark them. This is a motor wire. Each motor has two wires. There's one released. There's a second motor, and we have one more. There's one, two, third motor's now disconnected. And finally we have the three wires coming up through the cover that would go to the shaker motors. They also have to be disconnected. Same way. Next, I'm going to remove the ground wire attaching screw. We can set this aside. Now for the motor securing screws to the cover, there's four screws on each motor, so we're going to remove those next. All three motor screws have been removed. There's now just two more screws. Then we can remove the bottom cover to access the motor. I would carefully feed the shaker motor wires back downwards towards the vac somewhat before you start lifting the cover off. At this point we should be able to raise the cover up off of the motors carefully. While you're feeding the shaker motors wires back through Now we can remove the bottom cover. At this stage, we're now ready to replace one motor, two, three, any one of them, or all of them, simply by giving them a little wiggle and lift them up out. There's a seal cup on the bottom. 
and a spring, um, a puck, and that seals it for when the system pulses. So we got to pay close attention to that when you reassemble. But that's the extent of removing the motors up to this point.